Sup guys over of here. In this video we're going to be discussing week 5 of campaigns on the Starknet. As always all links going to be in description but follow them at your own risk. And as usual we're going to start with the Argentex wallet. This is the NFT of week 5 and in order to get it we need to do one bridging transaction through the layer swap bridge. Deadline for transaction is going to be June 6. 23.59 UTC time and also if you already use this bridge at some point uh, after April 1st you should be eligible to get the NFT. It also states that any amount is fine but the minimum is usually 5 to 10 USD depending on the network or exchange you are sending from and make sure that you're using Argentex wallet on the mainnet. So layer swap is kind of a semi-manual bridge. What's good here it supports a lot of chains you can select a lot of chains and also uh, you can select some centralized exchanges. If for example you have some ETH on Binance or Kraken or KX or any other ex exchanges listed here, you can use this bridge in order to get your ETH to the Starknet. I already used this bridge before making my initial video on the Starknet. It was after April 1st so I don't have to do this again. I will also link this video in the description with exact time. So you can check how this bridge works exactly. And all NFTs from previous weeks you can claim now including week 4 NFT. For Bravos Wallet we have the third Starknet Journey NFT with a deadline of June 7th 12.59pm. UTC I assume and in order to be eligible for this one we need to do at least one swap or provide uh, liquidity at least one time on myswap.xyz. Unfortunately, unlike Argentex, you cannot do this retroactively. So if you've done it before the campaign started, this transaction is not gonna count. So here we're just connecting the wallet, approving, and then you can swap any token or provide liquidity. I mean, this is uh, pretty straightforward. Let's see how fast will transaction complete. Okay, for me it's been around 15 minutes for the transaction to complete. Now let's actually try to get the NFT. First we need to share on Twitter. And then we'll try to claim. Knowledgeable. Note says claims can be made in around 10 minutes after the swap liquidity transaction has been accepted on chain. It's been around 7 minutes, let's try. Seems like it's actually going through now. Yes. Okay, Min took around 10 minutes. And now we have two bonus links open here. The first one will take us to Zilli. And here you can participate in the OG raffle if I assume if you have level 7 here. If you haven't joined the Zilli yet, please use my link. It's in the description so I can get a referral. And here you can find a lot of quests, including some useful quests for the testnet um, emission, for example. I've been slacking on this. I need to uh, finally get it done. And the second link is just a page uh, with general information about the pro score, about the apps. As we talked last time, now you can see your pro score directly in your wallet. If you're on PC, you can click on it and actually see your pro score right here. And they also promising to add the new features soon. And also we have a quest for the holders of .stark domain. For this one, I was unable to find any deadline, so it's possible that it's going to be active for quite some time. Basically, if you have .stark domain, what you need to do, uh, you need to go to identities in the starknet.id application and you need to have your Twitter and Discord connected to your profile. Also keep in mind that if you do have a domain but you haven't connected Twitter and Discord yet, these are going to be separate transactions on chain. So once you connected those, you can go to starknet.quest. We already interacted with that site once when we minted the NFTs from the Starkfighter game. Now we have this NFT, the totem. Here we just need to verify the main verify that you've uh, connected Twitter and Discord. You need to be following Starknet quests on Twitter and then you can go ahead and mint your NFT here. That's going to be it for this week on Starknet. If you have any questions or maybe some information that you want to share, be sure to comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.